In October 2014, Instagram released a brand new application which made hyperlapse videos. Now a hyperlapse video is basically a time lapse that is extremely smooth and you can play it either sped up or at its normal speed and it just looks incredible. It's not available for Android though, but now there's an application that is. But it isn't actually made by Instagram. This actually comes direct from Microsoft. Hey guys, Michael here from Copper vs Glass and today we're going to be looking at the Microsoft Hyperlapse Mobile Beta. Okay guys, so to start off with, you do need to join the Google Plus community for the beta as it is still in beta, so it's not available on the Play Store just yet, but we'll have that linked in the description down below. So when you're on the main home screen, you've got import, record, and also a settings button with about and help and feedback. Now the great thing about import means that you can actually get footage from any camera and use it within this application, which is something that you can't do with the Instagram app. So if you want to use the 600D that I'm using currently to film something and then import it, you've got the option to do so. In terms of the actual record screen itself, it is very simple. So you've got the option over the side here to change to the front facing camera. So again, you could do some selfie time lapses if needs be, and then back again to the back facing camera. You've also got the option to turn the flash on constantly. Now the great thing about this is it means you can do some low light videos as well, which again is quite handy if you do want to do that sort of thing. I always find though that low light photography on mobiles isn't necessarily the best. And then you've also got then the actual record button. So you can see in the bottom left hand corner it tells you the real time and I've got it on times four at the moment. So when it reaches eight seconds it will actually show as only two seconds because it is doing it at times four speed. So what I'm going to do now I'm just going to have a quick look around my desk and do a very quick recording for you guys. And what I'm actually going to do is just put the actual recording itself up in the top right hand corner of this video so you guys can see it for yourself and just see the quality and things and I will also have an example at the end where I've actually imported it into Final Cut and when you're done all you need to do is click on stop and then it's then going to render the video in real time and then it's going to give you the option to actually view the video back now it's going to repeat itself in a loop until you actually choose an option to save or discard the actual video itself so again that's a great option so you can see exactly what you filmed and see exactly what you're doing now down the bottom here you've also got the option to change the speed so if all you want is a super smooth video you can put it on times one and it will just do it one to one in terms of what you've just filmed and you can also then go all the way up to times 32 which is for those extreme long length videos. If you do something maybe around five minutes or so, and you're doing it on say times five, then it's gonna cut the video down to around a minute. So in terms of the actual video itself, is it actually any good? When I looked at the Hyperlapse application by Instagram on somebody's iPhone, and the actual results are really nice. It's super smooth, and if you're doing it at times one, it looks really nice. Now as you can see here, times one on the Microsoft version isn't necessarily the best in terms of quality, and it still jumps around a lot. Now this is due to focusing issues and exposure issues, which you can actually lock into place on the iPhone version from Instagram, but you can't do that yet with this application. Now do keep in mind that it is still currently in beta, so that may change later on down the line, but it is definitely something to keep in mind. Once you've actually selected the speed of your video, you're then ready to save it. Once it is saved, you've got some options here to actually share the video. Now keep in mind that because it is still in beta, you will have a watermark at the end for Microsoft. You can save it at a different speed, or you can then just go in and create a brand new hyperlapse. Okay guys, so what you're looking at now is an imported version of a times four hyperlapse that I've done using Microsoft application. Now one thing that I would say is times four in my opinion as it stands now in the beta format is the best in terms of quality and the overall look of the video itself. Any faster and you kind of miss what you're trying to look at, any slower and it doesn't look all that great due to the application probably still being in beta. But as you can see it does a really nice effect here and it's something that I'm probably gonna be using more and more. If I'm going on long journeys and things, maybe to see Barry in London or just traveling in and out of work on the train, this is definitely a great application to get some cool videos that you can show off to your friends and family and it is quite a good effect. Now normally this would take hours to do with a tripod and a camera and moving it ever so slightly and I'm going to put some links in the description below so you can see actually how to do proper time lapse videos without an application but in general for the application that you're using and in this instance it is free, it's not really all that bad and there are going to be big improvements coming once it gets out of beta. And that is going to do it guys. Now unfortunately I don't have an iPhone so what I'm going to do is get a video from The Verge which they've done on the actual Instagram version of Hyperlapse, put it in the description down below so you guys can have a look at that application for yourself to make your own comparisons. Now one thing that I would say is this application as I've mentioned a bunch of times in this video is still in beta. I think at the moment it's on version 1.0.9 so it's a brand new application so there are definitely going to be some improvements coming down the line so do keep that in mind. If you guys have got any questions about the application itself 
yourself, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. For more great content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. This has been a quick look at Hyperlapse by Microsoft, and I will catch you guys in the next video.